Right? So your customers pay for, hey, I'm planning on bringing on a, a CSR here in about six months. Well, you need to include that in your hourly rate, that, that expense. Okay, your customers pay for it now. Hey, hey, plumbing pros, welcome to the 434th episode of Potty Talk. Hey, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Pro. Hey, and I'm going to be talking about pricing for profit. Hey, I can't tell you how many times I have guys tell me that when they're starting their, their home service business, they say something like this, I, I'm not going to be ripping off customers like those other big guys are, all right? And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, yeah, those same, those same big guys that, that have all the customers, that, that have all the, the great equipment, all right, and, and then I'll have all the guys wanting to work for them, okay? I mean, I mean, those guys, those big guys, you don't want to rip customers off like those big guys, all right? No, that's, that's a problem that we have when we're starting out. And, and I get it. You know, I thought that way, too. It's this thing of instead of charging, you know, what, what the company I'm working for is charging, you know, uh, I'll charge a little less and, and make it a little easier on the customer, and I'll, st I'll still provide great service, you know, that kind of a thing. But that is what has a lot, okay, a lot of home service businesses in trouble, okay? And if that's you, hey, stick around. I promise you, by the time we're done here, I'm going to share with you how you can achieve a, a real, okay, win-win with our customers. Isn't that what we're looking for, okay? You know, truly an honest exchange, all right, for both the customer and most importantly, you, okay? It's okay that you make a profit, okay? That's why I'm calling this episode, all right? The title of this episode is Pricing for Profit because that's the, that's the name of the game, okay? That's the reason for having your, the business, all right? Profit is, is not a four-letter word. And of course, it's not, it doesn't have it's five, what, five letters or whatever, okay? But I mean, it's not a four-letter word in the sense that it's a bad word, but we've made it. We've made it this bad word, okay, of making profit, all right? And and that is why you're struggling, okay, or, um, or you're not able to get to the next level, or, you know, you feel like you're living week to week, paycheck to paycheck, okay, or that, you know, you've been around, okay, and, you know, okay, you got a nice house, you got the kids, the minivan, you're able to go on vacations, but you're just not making money. You don't feel like your wealth is, is growing, and by wealth, I mean, um, you know, what we consider wealth is not only financial, but time wealth, all right? You have the time to spend with the family. You know, a lot of times we start this business because we, we li like to be able to um, do more things for ourselves and our family, have more time, all right? Um, but it turns out not to be that way. And it largely in part because of how we're pricing, okay? So in this episode, I'm gonna share with you, all right, things that you must consider when it comes to your pricing, all right? You ready? Okay, let's get at it here, okay. Number one, all right? When it comes to pricing, present flat rate only. Flat rate pricing, all right? The world is flat. Flat rate price, that is, okay? We don't live in a time and material world. Think about it. Think about it. When's the last time you've gone to, to Walmart, okay? And, you know, you, you get your groceries. Do they give you a time and material breakdown on your groceries? You know, how, what, what, what's the hourly charge for for making, making whatever the product, whatever it is, okay, the, the can of beans, all right, and then the material cost? No. I know that may sound silly, but, you know, even asking that, but no, of course not, okay? Um, you know, how about, let's go, go with a bigger item, okay? You buy a TV, all right? They give you a time and material breakdown of the TV, you know, how much labor, you know, what, what they, what's the hourly rate, okay? And, you know, how much labor and, and how much the materials cost? No, no, okay. Nowhere do you go, okay. Nothing. You get a time material breakdown overall. You know, I'm sure. Don't, don't email. I'm, <laughs> we'll find one thing, okay, something that will give a time material breakdown. The point I'm trying to make is it's not our common customer experience, customer buying experience, okay. It's all flat rate, meaning that when we, when we get that TV, you know, it's 300 and. $49, okay, whatever, all right? There's, there's a flat rate price, okay? We live in that kind of world. Even in the auto industry, you know, that's why um, I got to admit, you know, we love, um, oh, what's CarMax, okay? We got, we got our kids, and even, even some of our cars, like CarMax. We just love, and the reason CarMax has done over well, has done better as, as a car sales, and, and car sales, 
All right. They're like number one and two annually in the amount of cars sold. Okay. Um, CarMax. And I believe a large reason why it is, and they are, is because it's that, you know, flat rate pricing. It's just that one sticker. There's not the haggling. The price is what it is. Okay. That's the price. All right. And then I know in the cars, you know, you can see where, you know, they kind of break it down and kind of what's included, but those are more the idea of features, not selling, they're selling features. Okay. Or let you know what features the car has. All right. But it's not broken down in time material. We just, we just aren't used to that. Okay. You need to present in the same manner. Okay. I understand, you know, we, we can get asked, um, but it's not in, in it's almost because that's habit. Almost we kind of present it that way as well. All right. But you want to present your service, all right, in a flat rate manner. So if right now, stopped right now, okay, the next job after, after you've listened to this, okay, all right, instead of going, you know, saying we're at, you know, $200 an hour, and I think it's going to be two hours, and then it's $100, you know, for, for the parts, okay, so I think, you know, so two hours times 200 plus $100 in parts, and, and instead of presenting that way to the customer, just give the flat rate. Tell, tell them the one price. Okay, and I guarantee that gone to you. Okay, it'll be it'll go a lot better for you. All right. Okay, present flat rate only. All right. Number two. All right. Your pricing includes all your time. Okay, this is a key point here. All right. Your pricing includes all your time, not just the time to do that job. Okay, your hourly rate. And thus, your pricing must um, include all the time it takes to run your business, right? So you got to know um, the amount of time that you have to run your business. And, and that process is fairly, fairly simple. Um, you can do it simply by just um, um, looking at, you know, how many hours that, that you're available to work, okay? There's a simple way of starting out to do this. By the way, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Don't include 24 hours. Don't You're not available 24 hours, and don't include your... You know, if you do work on call, which we have other, other potty talks we talk about, you don't need to do that, all right? And you make a lot of money. Um, but, you know, don't include your on-call, weekends, that kind of stuff. Just a straight, um, you know, eight to five, eight to five, okay? How many hours, how many eight to fives do you have available? And you would multiply by that by how many service lanes you have, service trucks, okay? Kind of think of like a grocery store, all right, if they have you know, the, the cashier lanes, all right? And, and if you have, you know, five cashiers times eight hours, that's how much time you have, all right, to run people through your lanes, okay? So if you have five trucks times, okay, times, you know, how many hours, you know, eight hours or whatever, that's the amount of hours you have to have to sell, okay? All right, so it includes all your time, that's key, all right, I could go off the deep end here, and we don't have the time <laughs> in this podcast, but that is vital, okay, all right, to know exactly how many hours that, that you have to sell and include all those hours. Again, not just the hours that you have on the job, all right? I think I've, I've hit that home enough, all right? I hope, I hope you get that, okay? Hey, and if you do, if you do or you don't, all right, still, I have something for you. Hey, check this out. Let's face it. Home service companies are a dime a dozen, and Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Now, it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash kick charge and start getting noticed today. All right, welcome back. Okay, we're talking about pricing for profit. Pricing for profit. All right. And of course that's our intent, right? That's that's our intent. That's why we, you know, we we started our businesses. Okay. We we believe we're starting, you know, we're pricing for profit. But sadly we don't. Okay. We don't. And in the way we go about it, um, we don't. Okay. We set ourselves up to be a nickel and dime and nickel and dimed and to be uh, um <laughs> Uh, not, not make the amount of money, okay, that we deserve or need, okay, at a, at a minimum, okay, all right, and we start off by presenting in flat rate only, okay, present your pricing flat rate, we're a flat rate world, okay, the world is flat, flat rate, okay, number two, include all your time, okay, not just time on the job, but all your time, 
Okay, you got you got to figure out how much time it is that you have to sell. All right, and you need to need to charge for that. Okay, and then finally, okay, all right. I want you to hear me on this. Finally, the customer pays for everything. Okay, well, of course they do. Well, sadly, we don't we don't treat our businesses like that. Okay, the customer pays for everything. Okay, and we start with yourself. All right, this business is for you. Okay, I know not, not not talking about just charging. Okay, um, you know, like you're still in the truck, so there's a tech pay. You're behaving as a, as a tech, but you also the customer needs to pay you as the CEO of the business. Okay, you'd have to pay someone to run the business, and, and do all these things. Okay, all right, you have to have that first. Okay, so the customer pays you, so you need to have that included in your price. All right, hey, a lot of times. Um, you know, that, that's, where, that's where we get stuck a lot of times, okay? Or it gets really, really hard, especially when we're starting out. We don't pay ourselves, okay? And, and that's just, um, you know, that's just downhill to, uh, to bankruptcy right there, okay? It's easier. We at least got to pay, pay ourselves, okay, before we pay the supply house, okay? Um, and, and those kinds of things, and, uh, you know, if we don't pay ourselves, then what happens is we get behind personally, okay? We just start getting going down, 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 down. It's much easier, all right, to be paying ourselves and kind of staying on top of our personal stuff, okay? And then having to deal with the business stuff and having to deal with the supply house and, and saying, you know, I'll be able to get you 100 bucks next week and, you know, you know, work with it that way. It's not fun. I'm not saying it's fun. But that is a reality sometimes, you know, when, when we're starting out. But we got to pay ourselves first, all right, paying ourselves first, paying yourself first um, gives you the, the motivation and the energy, okay, and it's less pain uh, when, you, when at home and the home bills and stuff are more on top of and taken care of better than the business. The business can limp through, okay, and, and you can struggle with that, and you will, okay, it's just, just a reality, okay, but you want to pay yourself first, all right? Customer pays you first. All right, the customer also, all right, pays for your growth expenses. Big corporations call this uh, research and development, okay, R&D, all right. You know, I, I like to tell, you know, for those that have been, been listening and, and know me for some time here, they know that I'm a, uh, my drug of choice is Taco Bell. <laughs> it's a thing, okay, I, lo I love me some Taco Bell. And so, hey, when I, when I buy my Taco Bell, Okay, part of what I'm paying for is research, you know, R&D, research and development on new, new uh, meals, new products, and new stuff to, to sell me, okay? I'm paying for that, okay? And everything that, that, that we buy, okay? Part of what we're paying for is um, their ability to grow next year in one way or another, okay? You've got to do the same. Your customers pay for the same, all right? So your customers pay for, hey, I'm planning on bringing on a, a CSR here in about six months. Well, you need to include that in your hourly rate, that, that expense, okay? Your customers pay for it now, okay? You don't wait until you get there or you think you have enough prof profit to pay for it, okay? Your customers pay for that now, okay? Um, you're saving up to buy that piece of equipment, okay? Um, you want to, you know, want to buy that camera um, and to be able to put the money aside, you know, to buy that, Okay, uh, even on, on that note, that is something that still f feels fair enough to finance. Okay, that, that's, that's good credit, okay, or good debt rather to have, okay, on a piece of equipment that makes you money. Okay, but you, would, you could get that and your customer's paying for that, that, uh, that uh, bill, okay, that, that monthly expense or if you, for that fi if you finance it. If you're looking to save the money for it or whatever, you know, I want to have that, uh, you know, I want to have that uh, camera, you know, that, that mainline camera, um, you know, in six months. So well, what's it take to have that money to be able to buy that in six months cash? Okay. Well, you include that in your hourly rate, your customer pays for that. Now, whatever that savings is to be able to buy that piece of equipment that didn't come out of profits. Okay. All right. That's a different conversation. Okay. Tax conversation. All right. But we're talking about growth here. All right. Your customers pay for growth. All right. Okay, customer pays for everything. Your customer pays for the discounts. Okay, so the <laughs> couponing. When you see people now, our family, we, we're never much of a coupon 
people. Okay, we've gone through periods, um, you know, when we were starting out and and didn't have any money. I think you know, the lovely Laura did do some. We did do some couponing. Okay, on a whole, we're not a coupon family. So what that means though still is, even though I'm not using coupons, we're not using coupons at the store. Okay, when I'm buying the products, okay, uh, the grocery store. I'm paying for those discounts that other people are getting. Okay. The other people are using the coupons that, that, that 15 cents or 50 cents or whatever that is, whatever that expense is on that discount is not taken out of their profit. Okay. It's added into the cost of that product. So we all pay for that. We all pay for that. Now, notice how that, that expense is built into there, but not all of us take advantage of, of that coupon, okay? So they're actually making money off those discounts. So the discount psychologically helps those custom, customers who need that kind of, you know, that kind of help, okay? And then for those that don't really, you know, just go ahead and get it or don't work with that, they actually make more money off of us. You see what I'm saying? You need to do the same thing. So you may offer, uh, you know, a 10% senior discount, all right? But not all your customers are, are seniors, but all your customers will pay for that discount because you will add it into your hourly rate, okay? Your customers pay for everything, all right? In fact, that's one major takeaway, okay? If, if you took, take away nothing else here from our conversation here, all right, that, that's a major one right there. If you can grasp that, <laughs> grasp that, all right, and really come to understand that and believe that, that your customer pays for everything, it, everything will become much clearer, okay? All right, there we go, okay? Pricing for profit, all right? It's not, it's not hard, okay? There, this really isn't rocket science, okay? But there are some things, some simple things you need to do, okay? All right, all right, flat rate, present flat rate. Stop, cut the time and material, okay? Well, I don't quite understand. Understand, learn it, all right? All right, you're freaking your customers out. All right, and um, and you're hurting yourself as well. Okay, all right. Your prices, okay, include all your time. You got to know all the time that that you, it takes to run your business and the time you have to sell. Okay, all right. Your customers pay for all that time. All right, customers pay for everything, including all your time. Okay, and then finally, okay, just that your customers pay for everything. All right, okay, um, yeah. I can't, I can't stress that enough. They pay for everything, whatever, whatever it is, you, whatever you think about. Does it, does it pay for uh, the new, uh, you know, um, <laughs> deck on it, the paper towels? I'm trying to find something silly. Yes, the customers pay for that, okay? Does the customers pay for um, cleaning our, our offices? Yes, customers pay for that. Okay, on that note, your customers could pay so that you, could, that you can work and run the business and maybe you're having someone clean your home. Your customers pay for that. Okay, your customers pay for everything. Okay, can't stress it enough. All right, and a bonus point here. Okay, also your, your customers pay for all your profit. And on the profit note, th this is that, that sticky side. We, we think there's, you know, uh, profit for, for a sad reason, for some sad reason, has become a, a negative thing. Just like when I started this the podcast here, when I talk about what I've heard so many guys say, I'm, just, I'm not going to rip customers off like that company or this company. The idea, we're, and the idea of ripping the people off is that it cost, you know, it, it sounds expensive. Well, well, good, good service. All right. Is, is expensive. Okay. It, co it costs to, to run a good service company. Okay. But the idea that we're charging that is somehow bad or that the company's making money is bad. All right. If you feel that making money is bad. All right. Stop, stop your business and go work for less money or someone else, okay, and be, and be a good, you know, craftsman uh, at, at your trade, okay, and decide that you don't want to make money or, you know, want extra things for your family or anything like that, okay, just go work for someone, all right, you got to cut the thing where profit is bad, and there's no law on profit, profit can be whatever you want to make, okay, and, and profit is just that, it's profit, okay, it, it's, it's the, for first of all, profit's the reason that the business exists, by the way, for profit, as a business, 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 Profit, okay? You may have a plumbing business and we're providing a plumbing service. That's what we do. But the reason the plumbing business exists is to make money, not just to pass money through, but to make money and to pool money, all right? To make babies, baby monies, to be fruitful and multiply, okay? That's why the business exists, 
Okay, so you, you got to make a profit, first of all, and the profit can be whatever, a percentage. There's no law on the percentage. There isn't a right percentage of, of, of profit. Now, I can tell you that every service company should be making at least 10% net profit, okay, when, when everything's taken care of. That's a healthy service company, at least 10%. Now, we have them when we come through, you know, with our training at Success Academy, all right, and when, and as we, as we get these, co- you know, companies from being one truck to multi-truck, multi-million dollar, you know, home service businesses, um, you know, we get to where we want them to be profitable about 30%, okay? So, you know, that, that's our goal there. But that, that comes through systemization, okay, where, where you can produce that, which is good, okay? All right? But you want to be at least 10%. But there's no, there's no law on how much profit you can make, okay? So profit is good, all right, it's so the reason why you're in business. So there you go, all right? Hey, and on that, I, I mentioned here, I have, I have something for you that, that I want to give you here. Look, if, if you want to learn more about the right kind of pricing and, and, and go deeper into these kinds of things, okay, and other aspects of your business, okay, uh, the right kind of marketing, where do I market, who do I market to, uh, how do I attract and hire the best guys, okay, um, how, how do I systemize things, okay, so that, that it can run, run on its own, all right, so how do I create this, basically, you know, this money machine? How, how do you do that? If that's something you want to do, all right, hey, I, I have um, the Success Academy for you, and I want to give you a 14-day free trial, okay? So there's, there's, no, there's no catch here, okay? 14-day free trial, all right, to check it out, all right, okay? You can get in there. You can look around. Um, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash success, all right, to learn more, okay? But just go ahead, and there you can grab – a 14-day free trial. Grab your 14-day free trial and just get after it, okay? Go go for it. Grab it. All right, I have that there for you. Okay, there we go. Pricing for profit. All right, do it. Okay. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So get out there. Be dangerous. <laughs>